Hello everybody on YouTube, it's your boy the Memphis Exile, right back at you with the 100 days of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where every day for 100 days we're dueling with the Drifter deck every single day. Today everybody, we're taking a look at an Arcana Knight Joker deck, which is all about the King, the Queen, the Jack, summoning them out to the field, making lots of different things. We can go anything from a bunch of Exceed Monsters to Slife with a Sky Dragon. It's a very much a go-first sort of deck. We're trying to build up one of those two things just to have a whole bunch of things that our opponent are going to have a lot of trouble dealing with. So we're going to go into today's deck, show it off, show you how it works. Big shout out to the mad reviewer, Kyoma, who asked me to take a look at the Arcana Knight Jokers. So without further ado, let's go for the deck list and then get right into uh, the duels. So for our main deck, we have two copies of Jack Knight, three copy Queen Knight, one Arcana Triumph Joker, one Slife of the Sky Dragon, Three copies of Joker's Knight, three King's Knight, three Imperial Bower, three Honest, two Propitious Warrior Lady. We have three Unexpected Die. We have Face Card Fusion, Reinforcement of Army, Terraforming, three Joker's Straight, one Thunder Force Attack, three Thunder Speed Fusion, one Double O Nothing, one, two, three copies of Mount of the Bound Creator, and two copies of Joker's Wild. As for the extra deck, we have Mascarena, Nightmare Cerberus, Isolde, Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Unicorn, we have Arcana Extra Joker, we have number 80 Rhapsody and Berserk, number 39 Utopia Double, Baguska, we have Utopia, we have Pleiades, we have number 39 Utopia Lightning, we have number 99 Utopia Drachner, and we have Double A Zeus, along with Arcana Knight Joker. As for the side deck, you know, you can play any of the Egyptian gods in this deck because of Thunder Speed, but come on, it's called Thunder Speed. You know, gotta go for Slifer, but if you wanted, you can go for a Winged Dragon of Raw or Obelisk. Either one will work. If you do go for Raw, throw in some Sphere Modes as well to help clear out boards if you happen to be going second more often than you would like to do. And you can summon any number from your extra deck as long as it's between 1 and 100. So, you could run things like Rebarian Shark, Link Get Away, get the, what do you call it, get the rank up 7th one on top of your deck if you felt like doing that. Although that adds an extra level of complexity, so not ideal. You also have Monster Born, but I rarely summon things out of the graveyard once I get going. And if you want to be activating Joker straight from the deck using Wild more often, throw in another copy of that. So, that's today's deck. Let's go into EDO Pro, show it off, have ourselves a time with it. Alrighty, our first opponent. Another day, another card game. Up against a guy called Heidegger. That might be a Final Fantasy VII reference. I'm Wild Bill, if you didn't know. If you don't get the reference, you don't know much about well, Wild West history. Dead Man's Hand, everybody. Dead Man's Hand. All right. Well, unfortunately, we do not have our Thunder Speed Fusion, but I have other things. So what we're going to go ahead and do, go for Joker's Straight. I'm going to go for Joker's Straight. We're going to go ahead and discard one of these. I'm going to discard a Joker Knight because I already have another. The special summons are Queen from the deck. And lets us add a King... And gives us an extra normal summon. This is very important. Because when you normal summon King's Knight while you have Queen. Not once per turn mind you. I can summon Jack's Knight from my deck. And if he negates this. Well that's unfortunate. I mean I do have Honest. I can still do things. But that kind of hurts. It hurts my feelings. Hurts my feelings just a wee bit. Because I was kind of hoping to do things. Uh, because I could summon out Joker's Knight. Uh, and his name becomes the same, but he doesn't gain that monster's effects, nor does he change levels. So, I'm just going to end my turn. I'm going to make this guy think I've got nothing. During the end phase, I can use the effects of straight. I'm going to put my king back into my deck to get this back to my hand. It was very nice. And Joker's Knight, he could shuffle the monster back to do the same thing, get him back to the hand. This is where the Slifer synergy really comes into play. Because, you know, you want cards in your hand in order to have Slifer have lots of attack points. So, we're up against Fluffles. Oh man, Slifer would have been really good against Fluffles. Any combo deck that needs lots of little monsters on the board, Slifer is just toxic against. Because if you don't remember, Slifer destroys anything that is summoned. If it's 2,000 or less... It, it reduces their attack, basically. But if it's 2,000 left, it just gets destroyed. And, yeah, that really messes up, you know, Fluffles or 
literally anybody if they just reliant on summoning a bunch of little monsters, which most decks these days really are. All right, fright for Kraken. Okay, so he's gonna get two battle phases. I mean, I've got Queen's Knight. He doesn't know I have Honest. Honestly, he don't know. But then again, at an Edge Imp, so he's probably gonna get the Scythe Blade. Yep. During the opponent's turn, you can do a fusion summon. All right. Well, he does get to do that. That is true. Unfortunately for his Kraken, I have Honest. So his monster goes Kaputskiville. And now we're going to be able to... Well, depending on what he has in his hand. We don't know everything he has in his hand. We know he has a Poly. We know he has an Edge Imp. Does he have another Frightfur? That's the question. Or not another Frightfur, but does he have the um, another Fluffle? I would say there's a good chance of it. But we have to go forward regardless. Let's go for Joker straight yet again. I'll ditch Kara. I don't think Slifer's going to show up in this first duel, no matter what I do. We'll go for another Queen. Get another King. Hey yo, do it again. Summon out the King's Knight. Ha cha. This will let me set up my Jack's Knight. And normally this is why I would go into like, you know, tributing these to go for Slifer, but he ain't here, so I don't get to do this. And let me think. See if he goes. He got extra knight. I'm trying to remember if the Fright for Fusion Whale targets. I think it do. I'm thinking here. I've got lots of options and things. Hmm. Because I can go for Drogner. Drogner will get me out. You know, Rhapsody and Bird. I can just make him huge. But then he can't attack directly this turn. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is use Joker's Knight. I'm going to send King to the graveyard. Because I already have a King on the board. Summon out another. You know what? Let's just go for Battle Phase. I think you have exact... Do I? I might. That is possible. Do we have exact game here? I think we do. So, thankfully, my opponent... That was looking weird. Uh, my opponent did not have anything to uh, fusion with, I guess. So, there you go. Oddly enough, we were able to OTK the OTK-er. Which is kind of ironic. So, there's an idea of what you do with this deck. You know, you're just going for Queen... Go the king, go the jack, go from there. Make extra deck things. My opponent didn't have a... If he had a monster, I would have gone for Dragna, but he didn't, so he didn't do that. But let's go for duel number two. Continue to show what this deck can do. Really try to go for Slifer and the extra deck things in the next duel. Because that's where the meat of this deck is at. Alrighty, second opponent. Let's go do it again. This time, hopefully, we'll go for, you know, the other things. You know, we got to show off Knight Beatdown, but this whole deck is about Slifer... And a bit of extra deck. And yes, the knights as well, but I like Slifer. Alright, what is this opening hand? Not a great one, but I have my hand traps. My opponent's got a whole lot of not much. I do have Joker straight. So, yeah, I think that will do it. So, let me think about this. So if I go for Bower, I can get things a going. Hmm. Hmm. So many things I can do. I got my face fusion. That I could go for here. So. Let's go ahead for Joker straight. We'll see if he's got Ash Blossom. Or any sort of negate for this. That's going to be the first thing. Okay so he does have Ash Blossom. Unfortunately. Unfortunate indeed. Let's go for Imperial Bower. No we're just going to go for this guy. No other monsters. Send to Grave. And then get two knights. So we're going to go ahead and get our queenly knight and our kingly knight. We're going to special summon our queen. And I could hold on to the king. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to hold on to the king. I could summon him now, but I don't really want to. I'll do it later. Let's just go nice and simple. Wins the day. Nice, clean, and simple. I've got Queen's Knight. Is he going to hit me with Drowning Mirror Force for a Queen? I very doubt it. And yes, I presume one of these is like a trap of some form. So we're going to go ahead and get back our Joker straight. That's the nicest thing about these spells. Is that I can just get them back. Alright, Eternal Soul. So this is a Dark Magician deck. Alrighty. Well, that could be slightly problematic. 
And he doesn't seem to have much else. And now he's got Secret Village of the Spielcasters. Alright. Well, luckily for me... You know, I can still use Joker's Wild Account uh, to use my spells. So, not a big deal in that department. He knows I have a set card. And I, he's unaffected, but you know what? I've got Honest specifically for things like this. Because that affects me, not you. Your monster's Kaputski. And, oh, he can just bring it back right away. Yeah, it's because he used it during his... He used it during my end phase. But he lost connection. Why? Oh, because he, he couldn't have done Jack about... Okay, so my opponent Rage quits. Unfortunate indeed. I'm not, I'm not going to count this one. I could. In fact, you know what? I'm going to count this one. But I'm going to do a bonus fourth duel. So let's go for duel three. This is a case of my opponent trying to like make it so I can't play. But I interrupted his ability to stop me from playing. So he, he just kind of ran away. So let's go for a third duel. Again, looking for that slifer play that we love to see. If I don't get the slifer play, I'll show it off in the end screen. So you guys know how it works. But for now, let's go for duel three. All right, the third opponent up against a guy called Player. That could be in a lot of things. A lot of people call Player up in here. All righty. Oh, this is a perfect hand if I just had a little bit more stuff. I'm going to set a card and pass. You know, it's unfortunate. If I had my Jokers straight instead of Wild, I would have the Slifer combo. Because I've got Thunder Speed Fusion. I've got Mound of the Bound Creator. I've got everything I need, except, you know, everything I need. It's a sad thing, but it's true. So this guy's playing more Dark Magician. Okay, it's the Revenge of the Dark Magician player. I don't, hopefully this isn't the same guy. I think it's a lot of people like the Dark Magicians. Because they're stupidly simple to do and also rather obnoxious from time to time. Uh, he does not appear to have his things, which is good for me, bad for him. So, we'll find out. We'll find out indeed. So, we're going to go ahead. Activate Joker's Wild. Activating Joker's Straight. Hopefully he don't Ash Blossom me. If he does, I'm in trouble. I'd rather him not do that if I can help it. I don't I want to see no Ash Blossom. He does have the Eternal Soul. We know he has that. And he also has a Dark Magician in the hand. So, he can't summon the Dark Magician. The question is, what is the other card? We don't know yet. So we're going to send Triumph Joker. Get out the Queen. And then we're going to add the King. And we're going to normal summon the King. Wachamba. So now, King's Knight's going to go off. And we're going to get out Yak. There you go. And we're going to go ahead and activate Mound of the Bound Creator. This will give my Egyptian god some much-needed protection from targeting and destruction. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is Sunder Speed Fusion. Even though it's, it's Summon. I like to call it Thunder Speed su Fusion sometimes. It feels like a fusion. It does. It really, really does, man. Okay, so I got Thunder Speed Fusion. That I'm going to keep calling it Fusion and not Summon. I get to Search Slifer. And since I have all the knights, I can normal summon Slifer. Watch out. It'll only be 2,000, but because of how my traps and my spells work, uh, not that spell trap, these two, I can get these two back by shuffling back my knights, and that's where it's going to be really nice. So we're going to attack with Slifer the Sky Dragon. That's going to do some damage. I mean, he'll get to bring out, well, he does get to bring out a start magician and I am unaffected he's unaffected by that unfortunately so normally he'd be losing attack points but not in this case so unfortunately we're gonna have to not attack for now so we won't attack this time but I have Joker's wild I can get back of the king and I get a card back to my hand and then Joker's straight goes off I can get well I'll get back the Queen. I don't want the Jack right now. I can get him later. I also have another one. So now I've got a 4,000 Beat Stick. Anything he summons in attack mode that is not the Dark Magician will get destroyed. If it's got 2,000 or less attack points. So Illusion O'Chaos getting Magician Souls. Okay. 
Sadly, he can summon that in, you know, not defense, or not in attack mode. He can summon in defense mode. Gets around Slifer, but it is what it is. Secrets of the Dark Magic. Gonna be summoning who exactly? It could be a lot of things. It could be many cards. So he's got Red Eyes Dragoon. Uh, that'll get reduced because that's not a Red Eyes. And so... Triple Tactical Talents. Oh no. My Slife... Oh, he's just drawing two cards. Okay, I was about to say. Uh, why, why didn't you steal this? You could have stolen that. I mean, I can't be targeted or destroyed. So I don't know why you'd think Red Eyes Dragoon would help you in this situation. He's tiny. Look how small he is. He's, he's this big. He's tiny. Look how tiny he is. Okay, so my my shit talk aside, my opponent... Oh, he's going to go for Dark Magic Attack. Well, this still doesn't count as Dark Magician. So I still don't know what he is trying to do. Um, Because, yeah, he's got to wait till next turn to hit Bound of the Bound Creator. That's the thing. Unless he just summons out the Dark Magician, but okay. So he'll get to summon the Dark Magician. And then... Summon the Goyle. Hmm. Unfortunate. I mean, this will still get destroyed. He'll still lose the Dark Magician girl, but the problem is... He can just kind of annihilate my field spell and then pop me with a Red Eyes Dragoon. And he has Soul Servant. I never liked Soul Servant. That's such a such a powerful search card that the did, did Dark Magicians really deserve this? I don't know if they did. Cause it's like put whatever on top of the deck and then draw cards. Not once per turn. Well not, not you can do both in the same turn. It's ridiculous. Alright, to Myus. Oh again, I mean he's losing stuff. Wait, I thought you did that now already. Dang. Oh, of course, Dark Magicians come to ruin the fun with their Dragoon. Dang, sucker. Well, unfortunately, this is going to be a loss, folks. I had a really good start with the Slifer. It's just unfortunate. I don't have Spell Trap. Well, I, I have Spell Trap removal, but I didn't really have an option to do it, unfortunately. And he's just going to double Dragoon? Really? Konami, ban this thing already. I'm sick and tired of it. All right. Well, regardless of that, unfortunately, that's a loss. You know, it, it could have gone a little bit better, but unfortunately, it did not. So let's go for one more duel and try to show off a little bit more. That We got to show off the Slifer combo at the very least, but we got a little bit more time. Let's go for one more duel. All right, see, fourth and final opponent of the day. Pick ourselves up from Dot Magician Beatdown and... Go for it. All righty. What do we have for an opening hand here? Hmm. Well, I've got reinforcement of the army. I can get Bower if I really need it. I've got king and queen, but no jokers straight. He's got a lord of darkness. Can't light monsters get a card? Oh, I guess lights. That would that would benefit a lot of decks if lights had a version of a lure. So. I mean, I'd still like a card like that for this deck, but unfortunately, that's not a thing. So we're up against some version of Zombos. He's got the Yuna Zombo. The question is, can he get Banshee as well as Bloom in the graveyard? He's got the Banshee. All right, so he will be able to turn everything into a Zombo, unfortunately, and that's gonna that's gonna affect me a little negatively, just a wee bit. All right, so he's got a set card, so that's probably Super Poly, I would imagine. Super Poly, something that gets used a lot. And sadly, another thing, I can't use Thunder Speed Fusion because that's a tribute. And I can only tribute summon Zombos. So not exactly ideal. All right, so what do I want to do here? Norm all my things I'd normally go for don't work in this situation. Propitious Lady don't work while he has Zombo World, unfortunately. So, let's go ahead for Joker's Straight. We don't have much else we can do, so we're just going to go for it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go for the Queen. Get the King. And then we're going to normal summon the King. And we'll see what my opponent do. Whoa deck. Indeed, it is a whoa deck. 
That is the name of the deck. It's actually called Dead Man's Hand Deck, but you don't. You get the idea. So let's go ahead for... Yeah. Let's make King's Knight and go in for our other Jack's Knight. That way I can make Pleiades. Unless I'm not allowed to play at ease either. No, I can still make play at ease. Neat. So we're going to go ahead and make... Hmm. Actually, let's go for battle phase first. Just in case he does have the super poly. Granted, if he had super poly, he would have done that something by now. I'm just going to run him over with the knights. Oh. Fraulein? No, if he had Fraulein, he would have done that. I'm, th I'm thinking too much. I mean, the thing with zombies, they have a lot of stuff they can do. They can do just a ridiculous amount of things. And, yeah, unfortunately... Well, I can still try to do this in the battlefield. I don't think this works, but I'm going to try it. If it works, it's an OTK. I don't think this works, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. Thunder Speed of Fusion. But I'm still calling it Fusion. Oh, I could get Joker, and that is a... Special Salmon. Hmm. Let's get this. Arcana Triumph Joker. Which, yeah, I can't summon because, you know, reasons. And... Hmm. Hand or feel... I could make this. Or I could make Pleiades. Oh, that's a hard one. Destroy all face-up cards with the same type. If I had a spell in my hand... Uh, this is a quick effect, is it not? No. I wish it was, but it was not. So, what I can do here... You know what? I could go for Pleiades, but the temptation of summoning this thing is just too great. I have to do it. At least once. So, we're going to summon out this thing. Arcana Triumph Joker. And we're also going to go ahead into... Let's see, I could make... Mm, if I make Drogner, and then I can summon out a Baguska. Um, and that would stall him quite a bit, so we're, we're going to do that. We'll do that. So we're going to make Utopia double. Utopia doubles effect, of course. We're detaching material. And again, we're hoping he, he has something. I don't know what this card is. I was thinking this was Super Poly. Which would make sense in Zombies to have Super Poly, because it's just such a good card in this deck. And, uh, nope, not allowed to do that. Okay. Uh, I could get rid of his Field Spell, though. Hmm. Probably should. Alright, we're going to get rid of the card. We're going to get rid of his Zombie World. I don't trust Zombie World on his board. It's too good of a card. So we'll go ahead for Joker straight, get that back, put the Queen back in the deck. Because I need a Queen back in my deck to use this, so that's going to be our turn. And hey, I summoned Slifer, and I summoned Arcana Triumph Joker. This ain't a quick effect, sadly, but it is a field nuke. Shirin Nui. Hmm. Alright. Once per turn, no monsters, send a card from hand to the grave, target a zombie in the grave to summon it. Or target a banished zombie, put it in the grave. Okay, so basically what this is allowing him to do is to reuse his Unizombo. Alright, that is a problematic thing. So what I'm going to do is use Drogno's effect. I'm going to detach two materials. I can summon a number from my extra deck. Haunted Shrine. Target a zombie, summon it. Okay. Get back you and a zombie, but I've got a Baguska. There shall be no monster effects from you or I for this turn, my friend. So, we've got ourselves... This is our lock, This is our backup lockdown strategy, Baguska, off of Drachner. My opponent... Can he send a card to the grave? I don't think he can. Nope, he can't send nothing to the grave. He can't even send to the grave, unfortunately for him. So, that's going to be game, everybody. All righty. Baguska dies, but he did his job. We salute him. He did what he was meant to do, and that was stop my opponent from winning. So, now what we're going to go ahead and do is, well, my opponent surrenders, but we were going to go in and attack my opponent real hard. So, there's the deck. Let's go ahead into the end screen.
Uh, we've showed off most of everything we want to do, so let's go for the end screen and talk more about uh, the deck. Alrighty, so Arcana Knight Jokers went three out of four. It's a nice deck. It's very casual-minded. You know, summoning at Slife for first turn is what we ideally like to do. And when it goes off, you know, unless you're up against Dark Magicians, I suppose, or things that, like, summon lots of really big monsters, it's a pretty strong strategy, especially nowadays. And we were able to do everything we wanted to do except for, like, you know, Arcana Knight Joker himself, which is okay. This It's a fusion of the three knights, and he stops things from targeting him. And that's about all he does. So he's not like an idea. That's why we're only playing one face card fusion, is because you rarely summon this. And, you know, Arcana Extra Joker does much the same thing, but, again, you rarely go into him. But we got to do most of what we wanted to do today. And I'm happy with it. So, hope you guys at home enjoyed the deck. Uh, make sure to hit like button if you like the deck. I appreciate it. So, it lets me know, you know, that you enjoy the decks. And tomorrow we're playing a 60-card Machina deck. Machinas and Infinite Tracks and all sorts of things like that. So, hope to see you guys there. Your boy, the Memphis Accelerate, signing out. I'll see you again next time. Take care.